Hey guys, Brandy here. I wanted to fill you fill you with hope and positive energy and positive thinking because it's very, very important. If you think negative, it's going to make things worse for you. If you think positive, you will have that positive energy and positive healing. And I cannot, cannot, cannot express this enough. Um, also, if you hang around someone that's negative all the time or puts you down or is you know always about the negativity it's going to eat at you it will eat at you spiritually then physically and mentally it will eat at you and destroy your health the same in a smaller way it does affect you if you go onto Facebook and you see negativity with all of the coronaviruses and children's death if you're an empath or have a lot of empathy you will read into a lot of it and it will get to you you might not sleep well you might take on the emotions it might drag you down you might cry get depressed um, you can see p other posts someone bragging about things that they have and you might feel like all of a sudden it hits you you know, it didn't hit me before, but now it hits me. I don't have this nice vehicle and this nice, none of these nice things that these other people have. And I'd like things like that, you know, and you feel down. So you want to involve your, stay positive, think positive, always. If you are going through health problems, you have a cold. You think of the cup half full instead of half empty. You want to say, hey, I don't have pneumonia. I'm not in the hospital. I'm not dying of cancer. I'm not dying. You know, I'm a, I am I have life. And that's what we want to speak into our bodies is life and hope and love and think it. Because if you think it in every single day, um, you can start these, start, start this where you go every day. You have a notebook. You write down something you're thankful for and something that's positive every single day. Write it down. At the end of the month, look at it and see all that you have to be thankful for and positive in your life. So you may not be rich. You may not have the perfect health. But you write it down. After a few months, you'll see your health improve. I swear you will. And, you know, it changes your outlook as well. So, another thing that's good to do is meditate. There are YouTube meditations, guided meditations, and even nightly ones that you can use and listen to all night long. You can use Panto Salo or Sage Incense to kind of heighten your meditation. And it's really good to, to burn and just heighten your meditation. Um, if you have crystals, it just helps to heighten your meditation. This is a real, this is a rosazite, rosazite, and it's a heart-based chakra stone, um, full of healing um, energy and that piece, which is a very lovely and loving stone to ha to have and to use in your meditation to kind of heighten it and, and you know. Um, you can draw into cards for pictures, okay? They, these help you take your mind. These are oracle cards. So even if you don't use them for like reading into the future, present, or however, you can use them for that. Um, but you can also use them in your meditation to give you something to look into to take your mind off things. And if you're worried in the evening, you have too much on your mind. It's really good. I think everybody should have at least one deck of oracle cards, tarot cards also, but oracle cards are really good to, to meditate with. I think they're really wonderful. And I'd like to show you guys these if you don't mind looking through them, a few of them, because I think you'll be impressed with this. this is a very thick guidebook. And it tells you the meaning of each card. So it's almost like a personal therapist because it gives you hope if you need hope and it gives you guidance. So it really is like having your own little therapist at home and some personal therapist or or some um, therapist and psychologist recommend to like pick up a deck. I like to have several in case I get bored with one, but it's fun to have these and they really do help you. So um, you don't realize that you can have some mental or karmic past things that are going on that does affect you mentally, physically and spiritually. 
and if you can heal that, it will help you physically. So all you have to do, like I have this deck, you can go look at different ones that you may be drawn to. This one's called Thriving. You can go look at different ones that you may be drawn to, to purchase, okay? Um, from the imagery alone that you can deepen and heighten your meditation with. I love these. This is Fulfillment. This one is called Action. These are really pretty thick cardstock and they're matte images. Um, matte cards. Relaxation. You can pick several cards, you can pick one card. You can shuffle and pick what's right for you. You ask your higher self or, your, or spirit to just give you what you need. Miracles. And I really love this deck by Denise Lynn. It's called Sacred Destiny. And this is Voyage. So I wanted to go over these. So um, if you go into YouTube, that's potential. If you go into YouTube, um, you can listen with headphones, but if they irritate your ears while you sleep, you can use a Bluetooth speaker or something like Alexa. I'm trying not to say it too loud because she'll start talking to me. Security. Flexibility. I did a physical healing one when I was going through some issues and I was doing that one that night and I woke up the next morning with um, um, my meditation I did a nightly one and I woke up the next morning with so much energy I didn't need my coffee didn't need green tea didn't need anything I just had so much energy it was amazing I cleaned the whole house release so yes meditation um, I love the music because it does work it does help um, and then all of this stuff that I'm showing you is just extra stuff to heighten your meditation I love oracle cards because they're like little personal therapist for you success and there are different ones I think if you find if you get one that you really like and are drawn to you'll want to go and get more of them forgiveness so uh, yeah I have several decks that I love and I'm just really drawn to using them delight I think the artwork is beautiful even the back sides of all have this um, really pretty ocean sunset and it's really pretty patience just a work of art and I can shuffle and draw into the cards if you'd like me to read a sample of what they offer you in the booklet embracing and just to sit there and you can sometimes just just look into the picture it's so, it's so much prettier in person it really is but Wisdom, simplicity, so yeah, just always try your best to think positive, and if you find it hard to do, just go on to your, this meditation, you can find some to help clear your mind, you might have to find a few that really resonate with you, that's flow. Um, but you will find some that you really resonate with. Um, just if you don't like the first one, keep looking. There's a lot on YouTube. Some have them on, some people use Amazon Music and just pick through there and use your little device and uh, can play music through that there as well. I seem to a lot of times go to, um, I seem to pull through YouTube because I found so many that I like community. So, um, you know, it's, it's just, it can be a slow process, protection. But you'll notice your life changing in a matter of weeks and months. Um, so just take the time to do this because if you're desperate enough, trust me, I've been in that spot, you will do it. <laughs> You will do anything, you know, to feel better, courage, and, and to heal. People don't realize that some things spiritually and mentally can cause what you're cause you to deal with what a lot of what you're going through physically, going forward. So, um, yeah. So you heal spiritually and mentally. You'll heal physically in a lot of ways. Purification.
from someone like me, I've lost a good bit of weight from eating healthy. I still have a lot of weight, a long ways to go, but it saved my life because I have lupus. I have been able to get off medications. I occasionally take meloxicam, which is an arthritis medication, but that is about it. I used to, I remember when I had anxiety so bad that I had to take a Zoloft every day and I took it every day for like a few years, several years actually. I weaned off of it because that's what I decided to do and it was not hard to do at all. Gateway, it's pretty hard. And it's not, it wasn't hard, hard at all and I was off of it and I was realized the medication was also causing me to have issues like urinary incontinence and some other things so some medications can cause you to actually have more problems than you already have if you have to take something you have to you know doctors are there for a reason leadership so you know what we do spiritually doesn't really take you know you have to really work if you need to seek medical help you know but if it's something that you've been dealing with a while and you haven't seen much help with medication or you've seen help but it's you want to try something else? Try it. Try this. Change. Try meditation. You can get into Reiki and learn how to heal your body with Reiki. Um, and um, yeah, and you get wonders. Wonders. That's pretty. So at least try it. Um, focus. Because I've seen a difference, and if I can see a difference, I think everyone would. Yeah. I, I have no doubt in that. Blessings. Remember that to look into what you have every day. You know, I don't have much, and I have health problems, and I don't have a lot physically, like a lot of materialistic things. It's healing chaos. I really don't. And um, But I have a child who's healthy. I am blessed. I have a child who's healthy. Um, I have food and a roof over my head. I am blessed, and I, I realize that. Diligence. Now, even when I do get sick, which isn't near, near as often as I used to since I've been on my journey, I don't get sick as I used to, and I do take probiotics as well because they are naturally good for you and good for your immune system. Transformation. Um, so I don't get sick as often, but even when I was, because I started my spiritual healing, spiritual journey, I just felt like there's openness. I, I still felt blessed because I know that I could be in the hospital with these respiratory issues and it could be much worse than it was. So I felt blessed and I, like I stopped complaining so much, taking risks. So, um, you know, live life. Truth. Live life and don't be afraid to live, to live life, but start thinking positive. Stillness. There's so much that people can complain about, but there's so much you can be happy for. Freedom. If your relationship isn't going well, still talk positive, think positive, meditate. You will see your life transform in many ways. Stand still. The cards can help you with guidance as well. Abundance. I pull this one a lot and I really do feel like I have so much to be thankful for. Love. Illumination. I love going through these cards. Power. And you can pick a few. You can shuffle and then pick, pick, just hold and, you know, concentrate and, and just pick through. Pick a couple, like face down, and then turn them over and see what the cards give you. This one is trust. Um, inner peace. I pulled that one yesterday, and when I read through the book, it really helped me a lot, and uh, I, I just felt better. It just all of a sudden just felt like I went through my therapy session, like, you know, a counselor. It really is, like, very similar to that. Enlightenment. 
solitude. Happiness. It's a very happy card. Beautiful colors. Gorgeous imagery. Adventures. Pleasure. And new beginnings. So this is my Oracle deck by it's called Sacred Destiny again by Denise Lynn. And I can just go through here and shuffle right quick and, and pick out a card for you guys and see what it gives us and um, see what this what's, what this deck gives us. It's gonna shuffle through. I, these cards are really big, so I side, sh side shuffle because it's just, um, it's harder to shuffle. You can also like hand shuffle or side shuffle or if you also, what I've done is I'll, I'll like feel of the cards to see if one feels right to me and if one feels right, I'll pick that card through how it feels in my hand. These are the two cards I drew because I broke the deck in half. Thriving and Miracles. And I like that I got Thriving. I really do like that I got that card because it's beautiful. And so I'll go into the deck for you guys, or the book, and go into Thriving. And it's in alphabetical order. So it's not that hard to get to. You get to Thriving. I'm going slow because driving. So it gives a description about the image that you're looking at and it's really pretty. So it goes into, in the African savanna lives the tree of life, the baobab tree. This is a prehistoric species that predates humans. It is over 200 million years old. It has adapted, survived, and thrived in a harsh environment where so many other species have gone extinct. Baobab can live up to 5,000 years and can reach almost 100 feet tall. It is a succulent, which means that, is the, that in the rainy season, it absorbs and stores water in its enormous trunk. And then over here, for this one, you turn in. So um, it's still got a little passage here. It says, this water helps it produce a nutrient-dense fruit in the dry season when the land is parched and arid. These remarkable plants provide shelter, food, and water for both animals and humans. It is one of the only plants in the world that doesn't drop its fruit or where it would spool. It stays on the branch where it dries out. When picked, the fruit has a three-year shelf life. So the sacred landscape wants you to know is what the card, the message for you. If you draw, the sacred landscape wants you to know, if you draw this card, you are a survivor. And not only do you survive, but you use situations that others might find challenging to thrive. You expand when others shrink. This may be the time to adapt to your circumstances rather than be overcome by them. You have a remarkable ability to step beyond any challenge. You are strong. Others may find shelter in your energy, and right now that's okay. Through giving to others, you are in turn nourished. This card may be urging you to step into your primal, primal, prim primordial, powerful, wild part of yourself. Doing this will increase your vitality and contribute to your overall well-being. So that's what the Thriving card wants you to know. So the Miracles card that I drew, Miracles, because I did break the deck and wanted to draw two. I usually draw one, but I um, decided to draw two. Miracles card. So here we go. So it tells about the storm and the rainbow and it goes into that. You can skip that part and go into what the sacred landscape wants you to know or you could read it all. 
um, but the sacred landscapes want you to know the storms of the past are passing and your dreams are coming true. No matter what has happened in the past, your future holds abounding miracles, good fortune, celestial beauty, and inner divinity ex are expanding within you. Believe that your life is guided. Trust in the goodness of the universe. A celestial bridge turns to the heavens is opening for you. Start a health program. Invest in your career or initiate a relationship and good fortune will manifest. Blessings are flowing in all directions. Believe that you deserve the best because you do. Bounty, joy, blessings, and miracles are flowing your way. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I love this and I also love the box. So um, just really um, inspiring deck and something I use I also use my crystals and sometimes I don't even need to use my crystals I'll just pull from the deck and it just increases my meditation and you will notice you will think more positive you will be happier healthier physically mentally and spiritually so it will help so no matter what you're dealing with you might have some kind of illness that will not go away that you know, you know, doctors can't. Uh, there's no cure for, but this will help you. Um, so um, it really will help you physically as well. So I am a testament to that. Um, you know, and it's also helped you. You know, the way I think. So again, try to not be get on Facebook so much if that's something that you do because it can drag you down. And um, also, don't just become obsessed with things uh, that you cannot control because uh, it's not going to help you there. Sometimes it's hard, but easier said than done. So that's where our meditation practices come in. And um, if you use your phone, your speaker might not be loud enough to hear. If you do the nightly ones, you can actually connect it to a Bluetooth speaker and do it that way. Or you can use your headphones, which is preferable preferable if you can sleep with it that way um, if not you can just do like your headphones with the 30 minute ones and if you're like me like I sleep and do sleep meditations like it's all night long six or eight hours um, I'll have my phone plugged up and I'll use it through my phone and use it through a Bluetooth speaker or I can actually use it through Miss Alexa over here she lights up when I say her name mm. so um, yeah, so um, I was, I've was i done reviews and things like that without even saying her name, and all of a sudden she'll start speaking to me. This thing will go off a lot. <laughs> so people say it's kind of creepy because that happens sometimes. So, um, But I like Alexa, and uh, I use her with my Amazon Music, which is quite inexpensive. I pay for that. So, uh, if, you know, if I'm not in, like, I'm, I'm in a not a very you know cleaning I'm not like in a how do I want to say it a mood you know to clean and to get organized I've actually had one of my oracle cards tell me hey um, get rid of clutter do this do that if you find that you're not motivated turn on some music and you will be motivated and I swear turning on music really does help motivate you to do things like clean and clear out clutter and things like that so I have several Oracle decks I work with and I forget which Oracle deck that was that I used but um, you know they always say when looking into buying them buy what you're drawn to from the imagery and there's several that are just so beautiful once you own one deck a lot of times you'll want to come back and buy more because they are beautiful and they really do help your meditation um, so, but anyway, remember to think positive. Say something positive every day. Say something that you're thankful for every day. Write it down and look at it at the end of the month and just see your life unfold in really wonderful ways because, you know, if you see something negative, you read something negative, people complain a lot. Just surround yourself if you can. Surround yourself with positive people and positive energy so you can protect your soul and take in the positive energy and the light because you, that is good for your soul and what's good for your soul and spirit is good for your health physically as well 
So anyway, I wanted to finish up by letting you know, guys know that, and um, you are loved, and you are divinely loved, and nothing can um, take that away from you. Um, no one can take that away from you, and you hold what's in you, you hold the power, what's in you to control your destiny, you really do. Um, so with that said, um, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this. If you finish this um, little conversation or that I'm, you know, um, so if you have any questions or have any messages for me or have your own stories, go ahead and share those with me and I will message you back. I want to thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next video.